Hello guys, this is Basin Tech today showing you how to start um, or create your first database program using Visual Basic 2010. So first of all, open up Visual Basic and then hit new project right here. Then click OK. Here's form. Click on add new item right here. And then choose service base database, click add. You'll have a database um, wizard right here, click next. And then click finish. So here's your database added right here. So click on server explorer, then expand database, and then expand table, and then click right click here on tables and add new table. So on the column name right here, I'll make it um ID int it stands for integer and then set is as a primary key and go to its properties just expand identity specification and then as identity double click on it so it's here set to yes and then the value of the id will um, increment by one in each time you click on or hit save and then make the um, first name make it text data types text oh sorry text and last name text email for example text and website text so this is our first table let's save this let's take a one here then we will click on um okay we will um, just here click on data right here and click on show data sources and this is our data set right here we will click on configure data set source um, with wizard and then check table Yes, then click finish. After this, we have here our table and the grid view and the details view. So, first of all, I'm gonna put here the details um, view. So, as you see here, and then Below it, we um, we're gonna put the grid view right here. Okay, I'll just. Okay. Okay. So now um I'll just change the text of this um, four. So uh, um, we're almost done. Let's test the program. Hit new one, and then in the first name, type so check in the email. 
quality yeah. no save then let's hit save so as you see here um, here is the website and the email and the um, the other right here and the ID is one so if we click here on add new and enter another another information right here um, user one user user at example um, let's save so the ID here is two so it increments uh, by one each time okay so um, we can just change the um, ID here we will make it label not text box so it will be better I guess so we will click on ID here and click on this combo box and choose label and then add it here okay just just a okay I'll make the auto size true and the value don't delete text so let's see now yeah it will look pretty much um, better so um, that's it guys thanks for watching